picks. Yeah. It's the Yak. Barstool Big Cat. That's me. Big Cat Dan Katz. Uh, Dan's out. Clemmer, fire off a round. Fire off a round, Clemmer. One time. Oh, that was a... Get this, get this man in Tombstone. Nice. Quiet Herp. Uh, I want to do one. I want right. to do one now. <clears throat> oh, shit. Uh, not realistic. You've never yeah. done that. She's never <laughs> shot a gun. Yeah. Fair She's enough. Never shot a gun. Fine. Fine. Owen, what's your gun? Um, <laughs> what's that? Oh, that's, my God. Oh, that's a yeah, brand new way of sitting. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 what did you get like that? Oh we were just God. sitting five seconds ago. We promised a new way of sitting, and yeah, just dropped. <laughs> All right. Uh, everybody, submit your uh, what's this? What's this pose called? It's not quite a gargoyle. Mm. Uh, it's a poison uh, dart. Uh, it's a poison it? dart. Or a sentry. Yeah, a poison dart frog. Oh, a sentry. A like sentry. A, I don't know. It, it, it's people that don't think poison dart frogs are actually poisonous. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's That's one of my biggest pet peeve when people confuse venomous and poisonous. Mm-hmm. Not what is me, the difference? I think it's pretty poisonous. Synonymous. If you no poisonous is if you eat it, it gets you sick. Venomous, they bite you. With venom. And I'd but say Rudy's poison. venomous. No, it's venom. You're what? doing this to piss me off. I can eat crack. You're being a dickhead. I can inject it, and it's still the same shit. No, but a poison dart frog can bite you, and you're not going to get hurt, mm. be hurt. Okay, okay. But if you ate a poison dart frog, your tum tum's going to be in shambles, dude. Mm-hmm. My hips gummy are, tummy. Yeah, get down. I got to okay. get down. My It'll get you gummy tummy. Right. Is it fun sitting like that? No. <laughs> It's good for the open up the hips, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely, and it's good to open up the show. Um, Za? Yes, sir? Fat Bear Week is getting some attention. Yeah. Some, uh, it was on Newsweek. Oh, really? Some people think it's problematic that they're making fun of the bear's weight, and the guy had to go on and say that it's like, it's a good thing. That the bears <laughs> we are fat. fat. Shame, we're fat shaming in 2022? Shaming. Yeah. I thought that was done out here. No. I know. I know. Isn't oh, fatness big, like big a scandal. sign of power in bears? Isn't that a good thing? They want to be fat for hibernation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. They're doing well. I would not do well as a bear. No. 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 They would they would they would more uh, of an otter. They would cast they you out. Yeah. They'd bring I, up otters. It wouldn't last the whole winter. Yeah. That's no, my no big way. joke at like seven eleven when I'm buying a bunch of snacks and ice cream and they're checking me out, and I always say, just bulking up for winter. <laughs> we always laugh. They always laugh. <laughs> always have a good um, chuckle. I heard there's some well, oh, Zah, uh, maybe this is true or not. Uh the water levels are too high for the bears to get enough salmon. There's a whole what? lot of shit going on, yeah. bro. Uh-oh. So yesterday we had a big scandal with the 854 divot. The picture that they took for uh, for his after is yeah. not what he looked like on the live stream the night before. So people were like, all right, they, they fucked up the vote and he actually lost. We're, really? Yeah. So Wait, cheating is making a rapid comeback. Cheating is oh, it was yeah. huge. huge in the 2000s. It kind of like fell off. It was shamed in the late 90s. Yeah. Huge in the 2000s when um, McGuire, I feel like that was sort of the pinnacle. It was the guy that scammed uh, Whammy. What, what's that? Is that what the show's called? Uh, Pressure Luck. Pressure Luck. He scammed that in the eight, late 80s. Mm-hmm. 90s cheating was taboo, faux pas. 2000s, McGuire, Sosa, mm-hmm. back in fashion. Bernie Madoff. Yeah. Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. Yeah. Um, a and, lot. Then it, and then it went dormant for a bit. Yeah. Right. I feel Fancy like the last Gwanya. 10 years... It's although the Russians, oh uh, the Astros, uh. the Russians and the Astros. Yeah, I'm just saying shit. Uh, now it's now I kind of now that we're talking about it, it's sort of always been in. Yeah. Uh, now it's coming to like a full head. We got anal beads. Yeah, I think it's more shameless yeah. cheating. Like usually you could cheat without doing any gay shit, and now oh. it's just like I'm gonna do anal beads. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's also imagine yeah, using know. anal beads to to. That's a really far way to go to cheat, and if you're gonna use anal beads. It better be something cooler than chess. It's got to be something. Oh no! On the yeah. flip chess. side, if there is a way you can use anal beads to cheat and win, that's that a impressive. win-win to you. I don't know how he used them. I didn't read the story. Also, if there's a way you can find, like, if you can cheat in chess, that's more impressive than being good at chess. This guy found a way to cheat and also massage his prostate. Yeah, yeah, which is that's pretty cool. He, yeah, he's a he's a grandmaster in my eyes. For yeah. the dozen, if you guys need help. Yeah, I could buzz you. Yeah, yeah. From wherever. Well, that's one of those. Jeff things. actually checks our assholes yeah, before every match. Yeah, he does. He does. Yep. And he's been rough with it lately. <laughs> yeah, he has been. Fist it. Yeah, he just really rips it up. Um, <laughs> that's true. Uh, <laughs> I think today is going to be KB resume day. If we, we can if workshop the boys it, in the yeah. booth, do we have the ability? Can we just pull up Microsoft Word and maybe 
I think, you know, this is going to be fun picking out typefaces, size. Uh, maybe we do justified here and there. Um, no, no thin. I'm going to get this out of the way. No thin skin shit, but you chill with texting me. <laughs> um, I know my number leaked and that's on me. <laughs> uh, but it's kind of ruining my life in some aspects. I mean, a lot. Most of them are either just creepy or complimentary. But there's some people that are just dickheads. Some guy said some it's out a of pocket bold shit to you move, yesterday. Dude. Live while the yak this was is, happening. This has happened to m- every once in a while. Well, you have their number. You could. I have right your now. number, and I I can hurt you significantly. <laughs> yes. Even I, if I don't announce it on air. The strategy. Just, the strategy. Deal with the weird shit. People talking shit on me and other yak members while I'm on the yak. Dude, I have your number, and I went to you, and I can figure out your Snapchat name and your government name. Stop that. In fact, apologize, or maybe I will do something. Wait, cool. yeah. tell that person, tell that person yeah. to call in with an apology. Yeah. yeah. I want to hear right. his if, voice tremble. There's a, no, there's been a few people that will just talk shit on the yak, talk shit on me, talk shit on you guys. Not me. Super I mean, weird. not me. Never, not. never you guys. Probably me. Yeah. No, well, no, this, no. This strategy you're doing will yeah. definitely work. It'll stop now. But I'm saying <laughs> that. What is your problem? It's not. That's not mental illness. That's mental challenge. How are you that stupid? What is go like? What are you thinking is going to come of that? What's the last one you got that triggered this? Like, there. It's been happening for like six months. Is there one that's like really? Like- Yesterday, I'm coming off our live show. I got no sleep. I was hungover as hell, and I'm like struggling. And then I s- open up a text and see some fucked up shit. Stop that, <laughs> you fool. <laughs> Luckily, now I have the energy. I got some good sleep. <laughs> Did he text oh, you? you? Yeah, not yet. We'll see. Oh. <laughs> we'll see, dude. We'll see. You're, yeah. All right, that's it. Well, did you see like Grace it. O'Malley, like what she did? She had this guy when she wore the suit down at, I forget what school they were at. She wore like the pluffer suit or whatever. And this guy, she's like, normally trolls have like a fake user account or whatever. But this guy just with his regular old user account that you could see his whole profile, his friends, family, everything just was like, you're fat, you're this, you're that, blah, blah, blah. Like just saying like awful shit to her, like a ton of it. So she's like, normally I ignore this stuff, uh, but I'm going to reach out to every single member of his entire family. And she proceeded to screenshot, send it to his girlfriend, his grandma, his mom, whatever, and just be like... Oh, that's awesome. She's like, just letting you know, I think something might be going on with him mentally that he's doing this. Like, I'm just sending you this out of concern. That's awesome. Uh, you're so, right. Yeah, yes, like, whatever. And that's true. And I love it. If you're going to be that dickhead, I've had guys like in the past, like just with their own accounts, and then as soon as I highlight them on my story, they're like, that's not fair. Take it down. It's like... No, you're fair game, bitch. If you're like oh, putting yeah. yourself out there like that, that bitch is fair game. Yeah, you can dox if they're doing that to you. I feel like do, like dox it. Can I say dox the shit out of them? Whatever. Did did any of the people re- reply back to Grace? That the grandma was like, not my boy. No, she had just she like posted a TikTok like showing the whole process, and she like posted the like the mom, the grandma, like all of them. She's like showed the DMs that she sent, and I'm for it. I say. You gotta go crazy on people sometimes. Oh, every now and then. Now I'm getting blown up. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> I'm shocked. Are they? Are they oh yeah, that's on. That's on me. <laughs> what a surprising thing. Right, yeah, no, yeah. Fuck. Who saw that? All right, never mind. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry to the people who talk shit. Doing. Yes. Uh, uh, and he. No, no, no. Like, how? Can, I guess that person that talks shit on you, maybe give ways Kyle just, can improve. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. I would take constructive feedback. <laughs> Who hosted before? Who hosted Pick Central today? Stinky boy, patchouli. Mm. Is that what you smell? Yeah. What is that? It's, it's like a, a hippie oil. Uh, smell. Ben Mints. Ben Mints. In, in your seat. Oh, that in makes sense. Seat? Yeah. Yeah, Ben Mints. Patchouli. I don't yeah. know what that is. It's the oil that hippies wear. It's. I don't like the scent. You don't? I don't know. No. It's it's just like uh, they do it to cover up showers. I'm not saying mints do that. <laughs> they do it to cover up showers and weed smoke. Oh, okay. I, I think you should, if you're smoking loud, you should let it be known. Yeah, definitely. I'm not it didn't used hide. to be that what way. What is it called? Like you'd smell a lot of patchouli Holy in the, like, the late 90s. Okay. People like were very like, oh, I, they didn't want to, you know. Money. That's why incense was. Yeah. Yeah. It used to be a big thing, incense, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I see there's an incense salesman uh, that I see almost every day on my subway transfer. It's in between the 1 and the L, and that's a full underground avenue transfer, and it's an underground tunnel. And for whatever reason, he chooses to sell his incense in an extremely small, no ventilation tunnel. So it's really stinking. Oh, he's showing off his wares. Yeah. yeah. So he hot boxes the tunnel. I don't think incense smells good. I don't. No. Like, I associate it with a altar crowd serving. Crowd yes. that I don't. Yeah. Feel yeah. Around. yeah that and and the church. 
Yeah. It's like when you spray the bathroom, you take a shit. Like it just smells like shit and spray. Like it doesn't really mask. But the it's shit. like it's is it supposed to hide that you shit? Because then it's just like, damn, it smells good in here. You must have had a nasty shit. <laughs> right. I immediately think of like a lot. It smells too good in here. You must have had the worst <laughs> shit ever. Growing up in Colorado, a lot of people like in their high school years would have incense in their room, and my thought immediately just goes to like, you walk into a girl's place and she has incense, you know you're about to get like a serious something's going to happen yeah and not maybe good you yeah know, you're gonna get a weird experience not yeah, not in a uh, favorable way yeah. yeah yeah typically you're dealing with someone that's mentally unstable and they think it's like sexy but it's 100 not yeah they let me light like up this stick of incense that it all smells the same yeah tapestries all that that sort of goes along with that and then they're like you're you're pretty close you're scared you're gonna get like hexed you're dealing with like a witch yeah that's, ever, do you think you've ever been hexed? No. I'm very uh, pro. Like, I don't fuck with spirits like that. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I immediately will roll over and show my belly. If there's any inkling that I'm going to be, like, hexed or cursed. You believe in spirits and stuff? Uh, Yeah, I do. I, strictly out of fear. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want to talk shit about them because I don't want to give them a reason to dislike me. Yeah. So I'm always sort of just like, listen, man, I fuck with what you guys are doing. I'm an ally. Don't fuck with me. Yeah. I'm terrified of, of hexes. I don't want it. I'm terrified of hexes. What if those are ghosts texting you, Kyle? Like, what if oh. that's what that is? Ghost texts. I know what you mean, though. She's got to like, show your belly. Early to mid-20s, you think you're intelligent, and you're like, I don't believe in any of that shit because I'm intelligent. And the, right. and the older you get, you're like, well, I don't know anything, so maybe it is real. Also, like, what's the benefit? Like, if you talk shit on spirits and ghosts, it's like you're not going to, like, defeat them. I don't understand that. Like, you may as well just be on the side. Right, there's no... Well, that's there's like the religion argument, right? That can yeah. Yeah. Might as well believe in something, because if you believe in nothing, you lose either right. way. yeah. Facts, yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, I don't... Whose I, wager is that My called? grandma can lift curses. Like, uh, when I, if anybody ever casts, like, the Maloik on you, you would have to go to my grandma to, like, lift it. It's, people do. People have come by her place when I was there. Um, she, but she's gonna... She has to teach my mom, because... Uh, she... I believe... I know she's good at what she does. Yeah. She, 2.5 stars on Yelp Google review uh-uh. uh, my grandma yeah and I didn't want to tell you. yeah like <laughs> reviews yeah. on, on yeah, but she's like taxes. she's the only one and I know she doesn't know that she's the only one that can live curses in, weird in West Virginia yeah. yeah so yeah people knock on the door all yeah, the time I went, I went and saw Nick's uh, grandma to get a curse lifted and I immediately walked out and already stubbed my toe one star would not recommend <laughs> yeah it would have been way worse if you didn't go to her yeah, <laughs> I, Za, you know something about curses, don't you? What? Yeah, man, it's very, uh, very prominent in our cultures. Yeah, very you've you've sent out a couple of curses yourself. I I I threaten. So here's the thing: you have to offer <laughs> you have to offer a sacrifice, and it has to for it to, for the curse to actually work. It has to be something of value to you. So you can't just be going willy nilly kind of thing. So I do threaten, knowing that you know there is footage of it working working once before. But, right. yeah. What would you what sacrifice? sacrifice? Like, yeah. would you delete a save file on a train simulator? That <laughs> it might be worth it. So it's something, <laughs> something of worth. You so need collateral. Maybe, maybe quit like Carmen Electra, Carmen Electra videos for a month, bro. something yeah. like that. Dude, you're a Carmen Electra guy. Me too. Big time, bro. She, he, just, followed, she just followed, she followed, followed me two, uh, two weeks. No ago. way, Massive. dude. Yeah. That was my first bust. Same thing. No same, way. It's literally the same thing. Yeah. Same bust thing. Hell yeah, there brother. Is, there it goes. Oh, what, what, what do you call them? Eskimo brothers? Uh, no, <laughs> not, not bus. Not, oh, not bus. <laughs> no. Bus brothers, dude. Bus brothers. <laughs> yeah, dude. She 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 opened my world. Yeah. Harmon Electra. Fiery, fiery. Me and my uh, Columbus roommate had the same first bust, which was the dirty video to Christina Aguilera. Are you serious? That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one I think Hayek has. Like, we were, we were, we were not together. <laughs> I, I understand. We just happened to find wow. that out. It would have been fine. It's good to have a spotter. Yeah, I guess. so. Carmen <laughs> <laughs> Electra is quite a run because she was like, I'm 42, right? Yeah. And when I was 13, 14, 15, she was hot. So like the fact that she remained hot for so long, where you younger guys, and she is so back I, right I, now. I think a lot has to do with her name. That's a sexy fucking Harman name. Harmon Electra. Oh, yes. great name. God, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah. No. What was her birth name? We figure that out. Uh, I don't know. That's a great question. Yeah, if her name was like Maroon Brownstein, do you think you would have been able to bust? Maroon, Br- <laughs> Maroon, uh, Maroon Brownstein. I would have been able to, but not more than once. <laughs> Weirdly hot. Tara, think Tara Tara Lee Patrick. That's hot. That's hot. That is still, still hot. hot. Wait, is that? Oh wow. Middle picture. Is that picture on the right? Her currently? Oh, dude, she's still slinging it like you wouldn't believe. No way. Oh yeah. So, Clemmer, you were high school days. 
late 90s. Last 97. Who was popping? I remember I stole a back you know, VHS tapes. So I went into a Suncoast video in the mall and I stole a Jenny McCarthy. Jenny McCarthy. Oh, Jenny um, McCarthy. The Playboy, like it was an hour long video. It was like basically like different like musical music videos without any singing. And she get naked. There was like no penetration, but she would just basically take her clothes off. But back then, like the idea, of, you know, seeing any puss at all was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so like, so what we do is you'd watch that and then you'd give it, you'd let your friend borrow the VHS tape and he'd let you borrow one. Because there wasn't internet porn yet. Right. So, like, you'd have to, like, swap these videos, and people would swap magazines, and sometimes you'd have a magazine, you give it to somebody, come back, it's all sticky. Yeah. You're know, like, dude, don't fucking jack off in the magazine. I know, that's a tr- fuck? Is that a real thing? Yeah. It's actually, it's sticky. Yeah, because guys would get, like, or get on their fingers and they'd try to close the book, so you'd have, like, fingerprints all over uh, it. Like, that's, that was, like, a real. And it's like. I always thought that was. I would. No, it was real. And it's like, come on, man, we only have so many of these. Because like, it was. Yeah. It was, mm-hmm. you know, it was a high quality item, it was a high right. value item. Yeah. My Pat used to cut up Playboy magazines. His dad was a big magazine guy. I'm sure he's fine with me saying that. But he would cut up the, and bring them to school, and he would sell the individual clippings Wait, really? in so the boy's like, bathroom. Wait, what do you yeah, sell? You sell, like, just sell a like pussy? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> All I have is money for pussy right <laughs> now. He would like sell individual clippings to guys for like however much. That's weird, because Pat yeah. does not look like a porn salesman. No, oh, not, no at not at all. No, not in Beef, any way. titty emoji? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does not look in like highest, a you just trying to get money, and that's yeah. probably that's better than fruit snacks. I was a... I was a a grade school and middle school entrepreneur. I would say too. Yeah, yeah. What I have a say? I have a scar on my forehead, a little perfect circle. Um, when when quarters used to just be the eagle on the back, uh-huh. I'll take them out to my backyard and shoot it with a BB gun to give the eagles titties. So it would get two divots, and you'd have the eagle would have titties. And so I would sell it for fifty cents. So I would get my inventory back and make a quarter. And so I would sell these titted eagles. But once I got a ricochet, and I have like a BB circle scar right above my eyebrow <laughs> my mom made me quit imagine losing your eye yeah. i still have way. one i have one titty eagle left at my apartment awesome. i'm gonna have it forever how did you do it like how did you I put it on a stump and okay. i knew exactly where to hit it on george washington's face Can we look? i want to oh. see oh. how did you get the idea for this like i you know just i, I don't know <laughs> i just thought it'd be awesome when you're like 12 and 13 all you're thinking about is titties that's like right yeah i still need some money I'm my st- hustle was like sixth to ninth grade i would say there i bought sold and trade sneakers with just like adult hispanic men because <laughs> they're the same size oh as yeah it's probably actually profitable that's it was very dude, i was making a lot of money having a lot of fun but uh yeah I was hustleless, dude. You were hustleless? You were hustleless? Yeah, I was hustleless. I kind of was too. You were getting pussy right away. Yeah, that's, I was, yeah, I was, yeah, I guess. That's dude, that's the biggest curse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the cross I had to bear. <laughs> dude, if I ever find out my kid's getting pussy. Yeah. You're not making money. They're no. not hustling. No. Yeah, the only, uh, ass Mondays. the only sort of currency I had is I used to be the guy that would take a $1 bill and I would fold it so it said tits of Erica. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> and that's not really anything you could sell. It's more so just a, a cheap parlor trick. Yeah. It's not even a parlor trick. It's origami. I used to shoplift a lot. So I wouldn't like... Origami. You used to shoplift a lot? Yeah. It's a hustle. Mm. Yeah, like 13, 14, 15. And I stopped. My homies had a big klepto phase. I never yeah. did. Yeah. It's bad. bad. We would steal boxes of baseball cards from Kmart. I said I was stole from Suncoast uh, Cinema. Kmart Oops. went out of business. I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm a contributing reason. Yeah. I stole a lot of Don Russ cards from them. Like... <laughs> They're fucked. No, but I, yeah, we would just steal, we would steal, and some, like, stuff we didn't even really need. I think yeah. we just, for, like, I was in New Hampshire, we were bored, it was more for probably the thrill, and just, mm-hmm. just to I, do something, but it, it's not great. Yeah, my friends would steal shit for just for the thrill of it, too. They also, yeah. like, similar to you, they, you, we used to, on hockey trips, a lot of my friends would steal, they used to sell porn magazines at airports a lot, and so whenever we go on hockey oh. trips, all my friends would steal those, and then they, or what they would do is they're always, like you said, had, like, a DVD in them. And so you could open it up and then just take the DVD out of the sleeve and then take the, and then put that in the portable DVD player and do a, a group viewing with like 15 guys. That's what you do with the VHS tapes. You'd have the cover. You'd have like whatever, like American Tail cover. And then you open it up and it's, you know, like yeah. so. When you do hockey. something like that, in the moment, you're all just saving it for your spank bank, right? Yeah. It's not like you're not horny in the I moment. Didn't, you're like. No. I, I mean, did why you resort to like mental imagery when you. I viewed it as educational, to be totally honest with uh. you. I was like. Because I was a very late bloomer, so I think they must. They probably were like, "Let's, you know, you make like, let's do what we're supposed to do with this." I was watching it. It's like, okay, like where, okay, where's the, <laughs> there's the butthole. Got it. Okay, yeah, wasn't totally sure about that. Okay, getting my distances and angles uh-huh. honed in. Okay, that's honestly how I, I was. You viewing. studied the game. I studied the game. <laughs> the I just went in there location and... gave me fits for a while. Uh, yeah, I didn't know what it was. Like it was, it was it lower a, than was I. It an actual hole and where where it was. <laughs> right. I was like eight or nine. I thought much like, lower. 
I thought it was. I thought it was. Yeah, yeah I thought it was yeah. just a vertical. Yeah, yeah, right. Hello. I thought yeah. that. Yeah. I thought the same thing. I thought you went in sort of like a head on like the internet. Yeah, that, that's station. how I thought it was going to be. Right. <laughs> yeah. Go like this is what I thought. Like that. No, I didn't know yeah. it was like. Yeah, it's more. R sticks out, so you'd assume it would just go right yeah, in there. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. It was pre-algebra and the pussy location. <laughs> it was very Doing confusing. Wild. At the same time. Um, Kyle, every time you bring up somebody texting you, I get texts now too. So you can <laughs> both on oh, yeah. no. collateral damage. Oh, Luckily, no. the, my person just sent me a little Oshawott, a little Pokemon. No, I'm getting someone oh. sending me their dogs. He said, "Show Rudy my dogs." Oh. Okay, just be honest. Don't like give it the old. Cute. Those are, those are ugly, cute. Look at this though, Oshawott, one of my favorite starters. Thanks. Thanks, whoever sent that. You always say, like, you love this Pokemon. What Pokemon do you hate? I've never heard you say that. <laughs> uh, you, a I lot. Mean, you've never talked shit. <laughs> yeah. I think I don't like any of the Reggies. What are your bottom uh, ten? My bottom ten? I have that whole tier list. I have, I've done it all. True. Well, okay, give me your all-time most hated Pokemon. Hmm. I don't like any of them that have a humanoid shape, because I think if a Pokemon <laughs> existed, I think people would try to fuck them. The mm. ones that were more humanoid. Mm -hmm. I always uh, was. I don't like Pokemon that wear clothes because I think that's weird. I was I always make, sexually uh, charged for me. Like, so you're worried you would fuck them? Huh? <laughs> Who would fuck them? I I probably me. <laughs> I'm probably talking about myself. I think, no, I think if Pokemon existed, the ones that looked like people. Yeah, that's my, well, no, go to my response. Oh, I, no, I responded to Big Cat. Uh, I was, uh, I always thought Mewtwo was very hot. And I did recently found out that Mewtwo is genderless. Mewtwo is genderless. Yeah, what, what do you mean that Still would hot. make sense? It's huh? Would make sense, right? No, some Pokemon, some Pokemon are genderless. It's a figment of a Japanese magneton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but Mewtwo has some nice hips. Mewtwo is based on, I believe, well, a Mew, and Mew is based off of a, a baby, f a fetus. Oh God, that's not good. You haven't seen Low Punny? That's one of the new ones. That's the one the boys are getting off to nowadays. Low Pony? Yeah. I think when you came on my stream, you actually talked yeah, about I brought Low Pony. That's my, that's my ranking. So, if we just want to... You can just... Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so there's... <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, who's at the bottom? You can see a bottom one. I can see that perfectly. Yeah, so oh, for everybody sense. asking... Sure. That saved us yeah, a lot of time. So that's at the Thank bottom? <laughs> And this is based off of design. Oh, what's the last one? I can't see That's it. It's a set of keys. <laughs> and that is a Pokemon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what did you go up before Pokemon? So Pokemon to me is relatively new. We didn't have Pokemon when I was a kid. So what did you go up before Pokemon? What did I like before Pokemon? Yeah. I really liked the tick. Okay. Mm. Um... I liked the. Well, we were also in. I think we were. I was in kindergarten when it dropped. Yeah, I was in like first okay. grade. So you don't really have much of a life pre Pokemon. Mm -mm, that's no. all I know. Okay, all right. Yeah. I one time got a. I made a trade with a kid in my neighborhood. It was a terrible trade for him. I can't remember which card I got, but he realized as soon as we made the trade what a bad one it was. And when I like went into the other room to get a Gatorade, he just took it back and went back to his house. And I started like crying and telling my mom that he stole it back. And I was like, I'm going to get that motherfucker. So I got on my bike and I just did like drive bys of his house. And he never came outside. Really? Would you have fought him? I don't know what I would have done. I probably would have bitched out and been like, give me my. He was way bigger than me and like three years older than me. So I couldn't really like physically assault him. But he stayed in his house. He hunkered down. God. Yeah. I, uh, I, terrible. I ripped a girl off for my base set Charizard. And I feel really bad for it till this day. I never got one, yeah. I have one still. How did you rip a girl off in, at St. Vincent's? Yeah, so I was a Lutheran at a Catholic school, and so I had to stay after. A Lutheran? To, yeah. What is that? That's a different religion. That's right. So to, in order, five theses? When yeah, I, the theses. Yeah. When I um, converted to Catholicism, they did all of my. I had to go to like Sunday school. And yeah. uh, the one of the girls in that Sunday school had the base set Charizard, and I had the, the non. I had the different version of the Pokemon cards, like the full art. I think they were tops. And I gave her like 50 of those worthless cards for that Charizard. Huh. But she didn't know, right? So it was, no, but part. at the same time, at the at, when you were that young, it was a quantity thing. Yeah. You yeah. just wanted a bunch of anything. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and I, I feel like she was bad. probably happier. Right. I yeah. still have my binder, my full binder in my apartment of all my Pokemon. I'd actually would be curious to see, have you audit it and see like what quality they are. Yeah. I could try. I have a pretty large collection. I don't know if there's anything good in there. But if there's like a base set Charizard, imagine that. How much is that worth? A lot of money if it's in good condition. Like How many of those do you have now? I have one. You still only have that the same one from the girl? Yeah. 
What's oh the, no! Uh, yeah. What's the Honus Wagner T206 of Pokemon? What's the number one? It's the it's, it's the base set Charizard. Oh jeez. Yeah. <laughs> you have it? Yeah. I mean, uh, Gem Mint 10 base set Charizard. I think it's what 40k. What? Oh my Are you serious? god! Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Have you tried to read? Like, think about re- reaching out to this girl and apologizing? Like, even I have now? No, I don't remember what her name was. I just know her lips were always wet. <laughs> <laughs> Hated her for it. But you have a $40,000 Pokemon? It's, it's not a Gem Mint 10. I don't have uh, it graded or anything. But it's, I mean, it's been in a case and a hard sleeve since I got it in 99. Damn. Jesus. That's, that's a Tesla right there, brother. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Think about it. I'm gonna keep it forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't. What if she asked for it back? What if she finds you? I would give it back. No, you wouldn't. Would you? Yeah. He yeah. actually does always give shit. He, Nick gave me this shirt right before we started. He just loves giving the homies stuff. Like giving homies stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that shirt was. I would get clowned to make making fun of that, and you wouldn't. Mm-hmm. You say that? That's not true. Yeah. It's... He does this thing where he's like, "I'm swagless." He is swagged. <laughs> Everything's going according to plan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, yeah. Clip back, clip back, clip back, clip back. Fuck you. <laughs> well, listen, man, you you can't talk either. Everyone's been calling you ripped and hot and sexy now. Everyone's been calling me ripped because I dedicated my life to it. <laughs> and I deserve that. <laughs> okay, yeah, dude, this guy has been lifting. Jesus he looks Christ. good. KB looks, looks good. good. He looks. You look good. You've grown out stubble. Oh, for I the Mets. The beer. No, I th- no, that's the way. Mets that's beer. designer stubble, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. obviously you rock, you rock it. I mean, it's too, yep. you know, that stubble is like now become 20% of your body weight. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah I, I think you should keep it. It's Well, it's going to be gone when the Mets, if, if the Mets lose. Why don't you keep it? I don't know. I don't think my wife likes it very much. Bro, you'd look sick with a goatee. No, it's what it naturally wants to do. You can see it's very patchy. Kyle has the same, I think, pattern. Yeah. On the side. Yeah, and it here sucks. It's, yeah, here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you can't let it go too long because oh. it looks whack with the patches. It does. Yeah. And then this will go really thick. I think you'd look like Keanu Reeves, dude. Thank you. Mm-hmm. KP's looking looking. We got to get the thing. We got to get the crossword club unless you guys did it. We didn't do oh, it yet. We're doing we, it after this. Yeah. Well, we'll probably do it after yeah, let's put. I'm trying to make that mainstream. I want to do it on stream. I want to do it on stream. Yeah, one day. it's the funnest thing in the world. Yeah, it's the most fun thing in the entire. I get world. It's FOMO the best thing. Looking across the pay for the Daily New York it. Times crossword. Yeah. You get the mini and best money the, I've ever spent. Regular and it's all I do. It, it, yeah. It's genuinely if I have ten minutes of not doing something, I'm doing a crossword. It is made airplanes, flights, uh, just. I, I'm pissed. When we had the flight, you can go in the archive and do them back to whatever mm-hmm. ni- the 1990s. Uh, when we had the flight from Atlanta to Chattanooga, I was so pissed when we landed. <laughs> yeah, because you want to fit, you want to keep going. Yeah, I I was doing one on the subway the other day and I missed two stops. Yep, I was just in my yeah. own world. It it's also really the greatest cool. bonding experience ever. It's yeah, the most. Awesome. as a team, it's fun. It's so much fun. It's all positive. It's all collaborative. Right. Yeah. Our captain is led. It's Dave's guy, Austin. Yeah, he is very. Yeah. He's, he's the, the clue. Captain. He's yeah. the clue. Oh God, he's right. really good at getting the clues. In terms of like each po- like the third we do Thursdays and the Thursdays have like a little trick inside of it. Yeah, it's, he's, he's a great team player. I'm uh-huh, an ego player. If I I just want to get all my stats padded. Kyle jumps ahead. He'll yeah, look at the, mm. the, the, it's hard not to. It, just wait until we get there, then you can say it. Yeah, you and Tommy smokes, and you yeah. don't want anything in common with him. Yeah, at all. Um, should we build your resume, Kyle? So I saw the the LinkedIn. I think that was a Photoshop, but yeah. um, that yeah, wasn't real. Yeah, let's. Now I've seen a lot of resumes back in my old life. All right, so I don't want. The, I mean, if I want. The, <laughs> well, the thing is, he can't use his real name. Right, right. That's fine. If we want to make this work, yeah. we can't go too nonsensical. No, but it does need to toe a line. I do want to see how far I can get in the interview process. But I, I want the name to be. I kind of think Saul Boogerman Reynolds. <laughs> I'm stick with that. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Um, I think I, I can't do the hair style in college with the engineering degree. No one will believe that. You definitely need to say that you're Excel certified. What does that mean? It means that you're certified in Excel. You have like a oh. degree from Excel. Oh, I was Are you thinking. saying Excel? Excel. Yeah, I was thinking oh, of the magazine. For large. You were talking about the size. size of the year. Yeah. No. <laughs> dude, that, maybe your cipher was incredible, dude. Yeah. We sh- you should say that you're a, a 2015 double XL freshman of the year nominee. Because then they can't check that. Applicant. Applicant. Yeah. Applicant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll do that. Yeah. We'll put that in the interest tab, though. But what yeah. do you, your career history will we'll do some stuff. What are you applying for exactly? You know, what, like what line of work? So I think we're going to, each YAC member is going to like give, okay. submit something. We're going to go on the wheel. wheel to see what I try, what mm-hmm. job I try to get. Okay. The big four accounting firms should come out with a 
Microsoft Double XL freshman list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. That would yeah, be with two monitors. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Double XL. Yeah. Jake from Fairfield, you just put in the work this yeah. year. Ah, damn. Yeah, our our new it's guy on Anus, Connor, claimed that he was gonna make a big splash in the accounting world for his <laughs> what for his for absences it. from work. Or yeah. For, for the fact that he's our guy moved to work to freelance here. Accountant. Um, what is the accounting world? Is there a forum? Is well, how many? Go to the accounting subreddit. How yeah. many people claim that it was really tight knit? Like every, like everyone knows everyone, and it would they would find out about his antics. I was like, like that's that's one of the most popular jobs in the world. You're trying to get him to call on anus, uh, call his boss and quit. And he was like, I'd never work in accounting again. And we're like, what? That ship has already yeah. sailed. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that's a He's rap. had this job. He's had this accounting job for 3 weeks mm -hmm. and he's missed a week and a half already cuz he comes in here to record. Yes. <sighs> and that's where we are as a society. People don't work. People don't work getting away with. Companies it. are desperate to oh, hire. Kidding. I mean, that's why your your resume might go far. Co companies yeah. are it's at a, like a record low. Oh my Point god. Right. Yes. It would be so easy for me to get a job in my old field because it's 95% women. And they just need any man. They didn't background check me. Why don't we just go to your field then? <laughs> All right. So I think we need to we need to change the spelling of boogerman. <laughs> I like the two double dots. The U with the, um, the umlaut. umlaut. Yeah, maybe an umlaut. Know what, uh, booger. <laughs> Boogerma. Uh, B U H. <laughs> G yeah, wait, that's pretty good right there. Yeah, I, like cool. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Saul Boogerman Reynolds. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is a wonder turkey. What is that? Wonder turkey? Who's operating the blue So there's a, there's a soccer player named Unda, and he's got the U with the double dot. Oh, he's got so a I was ah. trying to go copy. Okay. Boogerman. I don't know oh. how to do it manually. <laughs> Saul Boogerman hyphen Reynolds. I don't need you, you don't need to put resume. I think if you do, I think it's Wait, like, actually resume is a pretty funny last name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Saul, Saul resume. Saul Boogerman. Yeah, Saul Boogerman resume. <laughs> Wait, it's a guy whose last name is Resume, and everyone resume. thinks he's always having a type. It's like, you yeah. forgot your last name. It's like, what? That poor guy. <laughs> it's all Boogerman Resume. Yeah. And then Resume again. Yeah. Saul Boogerman hyphen Resume Resume. <laughs> <laughs> Should we spell the, the, the name Resume a little bit different? Like, and the, just the last E has that little dash over it? Yeah. Or like maybe like Resume, like M-A-E. Uh, that is how Resume is spelled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh oh, so yeah. dumb. <laughs> that's oh, right. No. That's oh, fair. No. Oh no. <laughs> Let's try something crazy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I think there's right. two. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um. Huh. Maybe you should say that you love Roback because that's actually true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but what would I say hypothetically? Yeah. Hypothetically, you on the resume. Okay, so it says Kyle. It says here on your resume that you love Roback. Yeah. Okay, true. I could add a bullet point for that. Um, yeah, you think they have the best performance polos, hoodies, Q zips, and now we can rock row back head to toe. We've been wanting to make a huge announcement. It's finally time. They just released the performance joggers. They're incredible, functional, versatile, comfortable. Uh, they check every box. Use code YAK, Y A K, at rowback.com for 20% off your first purchase through the end of the week. R H O B A C K.com, 20% off all polos, quarter zips, hoodies, joggers, code Y A K. There we go. Maybe you should try to get a job at rowback. Be a product tester, mm. stress test their shorts, squatting them. <laughs> See if they can handle your thrust. I mean, I would, I would just, I want to take anything. I just want to like get something and then go full on. Oh, you just think that? Yeah. Boom shakalaka. That. Mm. that was righty too. Clemmer, what's uh, surprised you the most about New York? Well, I lived in New York before. I was in New York from 2012 to 2016. Um, it's gotten worse um, oh. since I was here before. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, I think like the COVID and the um, I don't know the riots, but the COVID especially, I think is really like. I feel like it's, it's not as safe. I mean, not that it's dangerous, but I, I feel like I felt safer before. I don't know. Not that I feel unsafe. I don't know. It's just it's it's a weird energy. Um, it's like almost like a darkness to it, like a like a anger that wasn't there before. Firstly, you know it. what's going on right now that I love. Uh, Comic Con weekend started yesterday, and so on my way in, 
it was like me and then a bunch of wizards getting on the train. Like everybody's all dressed up coming yeah. from the suburbs on the way into work. And for the next couple of days, the subway will just be people in costumes. It just has always like a really fun, real fun feel to it. I've always wanted to go to Comic-Con. It seems really cool. Yeah. Robbie's going today to make Genuine. a video. Yeah, I saw like, him at his... Yeah. You have to be a very cool person to go in a full costume on a train. Yes. Yeah. Like, you have to be confident as fuck. On the way yeah, I don't today, think cool is the right word. Yeah. Yeah. I am. I'm going to use cool. cool. Yeah. Might be the exact cool. opposite of what they... I love anything I where everyone cool. is very passionate yes. about the same yeah. thing. There we go. That's yeah. looking better. Also, it's a very funny mixture of like <laughs> dudes. It's a lot of dudes that are typically like a, you, you wouldn't say that they're the most suave guys and then it's also like the hottest girls on earth in yes comic-con yeah it's the girls trying to make the twitch money or yeah. yes yes 100%. i worked it because i worked concessions at the um sense of it the philly convention center and then at like wells fargo but i worked comic-con concessions and there was a super hot cosplay woman mm -hmm. who was taking like a grown man who like Salt and pepper hair, like looked wealthy, but was just in a speedo on a chain. Had him crawling yeah. around on the floor at Comic Con, oh. and they waited in the cheesesteak line for a cheesesteak. And she's like, "What do you want?" And he like gave his order. Uh, no, I like, hate oh, that. I, yeah, I, that. Was, I love that. That sounds yeah. so fun. Insults of shallow desires, but deep pockets. Yes, yeah. they do. The, the Twitch streamers are really a making a lot of money. Yeah. For I know exactly what they're. That was beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, no. that was poetry. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, like I said, I used to go to board game conventions, which is like these conventions but i think it's even uglier um <laughs> you bring your own do you bring your own dice no i would buy them from chessix my favorite dice brand mm. hell yeah dude <laughs> that's just true not a joke um <laughs> <laughs> yeah a dice brand yeah chessix they um so I, a lot of dice when they paint they put too much paint on some of the the nibs and so it's not a perfectly fair roll you know it's but uh -huh. chessix tested it's the same coding it's like every side has an equal chance of landing people are sanding yeah. nibs and okay yeah i don't uh, care, so dude. You Actually, yeah i want yeah snake eyes <laughs> 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 yeah, you, i don't care if they cheat to make snake eyes happen yeah. i want snake eyes. Hey, but we, loaded dice are sick didn't know that was a thing. You didn't know light loaded dice oh, oh, what, no. were they like way down one side yeah. of it inside oh, like yeah. okay. i don't roll enough you guys remember yeah. loaded diaper a band from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Yeah, Roger. I don't remember at all. Didn't get him in either. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was an oon lot in that. Yes, there was over the O. Mm -hmm. um, so were you just the most attractive person in the building? You said you claim this. Um, I did claim it. Did, it wasn't a brag. It was no, it wasn't a brag at all. Um, it was a fact. Yeah. How did, how did it feel? How did it feel? Yeah. Was it? Powerful? I felt like God. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I felt like God. So now you know how like, Rudy feels all the time. I know. <laughs> I, 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 we're, all, we're in New York City. I mean, Rudy's yeah. attractive. But no, that's, that's, New York. That's, I, that's a good point. I benefit from just working be, yeah, at being Barstool, Barstool Sports. Yeah. But yeah, as soon as I walk outside, I'm just a regular. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah. yeah, it's the yeah. cheerleader. This thing. office is grotesque <laughs> on, for New York State. Yeah, kind. Yeah. yeah, I'm playing in the G League of hot dudes right now. Yeah. And then I walk outside and it's, you know. I mean, first of all, if you go to the west side, the gay community in new york are some of the most impressive individuals i've ever seen in my life mm. they're yeah. all like six three minimum yeah ripped the ripped thing is just destroys me right because mm -hmm. i all i've like, my goal is it's nothing against like anybody but my goal is to feel more masculine to feel more powerful but they flipped it like some of the gayest guys in the world are just <laughs> so jacked so jacked and think of the women they could get yes yeah. If they, they're so masculine, they're just like, no, nah, fuck that. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, it actually yeah. is like so masculine. They're so masculine they that they no want to fuck women. dudes. Yeah. Dude, when um, we were in Provincetown for Pride and we were wearing speedos, mm -hmm. that was the most self-conscious I've ever felt in my life. Because like yeah. there were guys wearing speedos next to us, mm -hmm. shredded. I almost cried. Did you? Man, chest by the sea. <laughs> 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 Which is the last time I actually cried. <laughs> what was that, the movie? Oh, I yeah, oh, was And the worst part is it was the like just the scene I watched on YouTube like a few weeks ago. Of mm -hmm. It's Casey. Casey Affleck. Casey talking to his met her on the street. Yeah. I don't want to watch that movie. It seems too depressing. It is. Oh, yeah, no movie tackles grief better. It's phenomenal. Yeah. I like that. shouldn't be sad. I watched it without knowing the summary. Uh, and it just, I didn't see that twist coming. Clemmer's right, yeah. It's the perfect oh just, like depiction of a real grief. Yeah, actual oh, yeah. grief. And like, what if something's so horrible you can never really come back from? 
it tackles Damn. that and it's like oh like you you'll never be the same like you can never be happy again fuck that dude. yeah that's the hard part it tries to tackle hotter. it it doesn't yeah, I'm really get watch grip on it and watch a guy <laughs> like, punch a guy yeah. like a thousand yeah. times yeah if i if i yeah. the last movie i cried at was click i was gonna say grief stricken rudy is a whole other level okay, yeah click was a good uh, one too yeah because it throws you a curveball yeah it's, it does and i was expecting a comedy yeah, no, exactly. And then it has a very, very real undertone. And Christopher Walken. Is that Christopher Walken? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Rudy, this is going to sound like a dumb question, but like, what is watching the movie Rudy like for you? Whoa. Uh, it's weird because I weirdly like lived the movie because I walked on to the University of Denver hockey. Oh, yeah, that's a little... <laughs> So it's kind of <laughs> I wouldn't say you relived the movie. I mean I I mean I I I was not I was not a highly touted athlete and my name was Rudy and I had to walk onto a college sports team so that was kind of bizarre. Did your teammates like you? They did, yeah. The ones and then they would always chant Rudy, which is sort of patronizing. To be honest with you. But no, I I honestly busted Kyle, <laughs> fucking busted with the nicotine. No, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, no. I say no. TGA on the sticks, you got him fucked, dude. Wait, why is you that bad? Actually, go back. No, because my, my, it's destroying my mom's life again. Yeah, he's sending me pictures of deformed cancer mouths. Oh god. <laughs> Uh, okay, wait, also, can there's can only one back? deformed cancer mouth. That one relief pitcher from middle school who lost his jaw yes. is in every textbook yes. ever. That, is that the it same It only happened to one guy. His name was, like, look, Gruen. Look. <laughs> was his name Gruen? Look him up. <laughs> yes. That one did haunt me. It's wait, one dude. Look at Kyle get caught. This... Shouldn't matter. Busted. Oh, no. Damn, caught in 720p. Wait, is that it? Um, but, Rudy, do you ever just, like, watch some of those scenes? No, I actually never watch that movie anymore. Okay. I watched it when I was a kid, but I haven't watched it in a certain time. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I didn't actually, but I, I, it always was weird to me. To be It'd honest, be my alarm clock if I was you. Every yeah. substitute teacher I ever had tried to get cheeky with the Nickelodeon, like jink, nick, 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 uh, <laughs> like during attendance. Yeah. Just, uh, uh, <laughs> subs, man. Mine always convinced me that Kyle was one syllable. Fuck you that could do the clap game where you would clap with your syllables, and I, from an early age, I was gaslit into thinking Kyle was Kyle. Did that affect your life in the long run? Mm -hmm. I remember even at age six in kindergarten, I was like, Kai Ol would be two. Yeah, that was you in kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also could recite all the presidents in order, and I knew every U.S. state capital. By kindergarten? So I think I was what academically, does that have to do I, don't, I think I was academically <laughs> smarter than my teacher. <laughs> I would do better at standardized testing. <laughs> I think that was maybe just like a like a Pittsburgh drawl of just Kyle. Kyle. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's Kyle. Kyle, right? Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. You, that is it. You count how many times your jaw touches? Like Kyle. Yeah. Right. Or it moves? Kyle. Well, then what about Kate? That's one. Kate. Kate is one. Kate. Kyle. Kate. Kate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Slightly different. <laughs> Kate. It is too. Let's add it. Let's Jeez. add an accent to that. I like if you've ever. This is a niche <laughs> reference, but if you've ever heard Dave Portnoy say Duke's name, he makes it four syllables. How's he doing? Like Duke's. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. You gotta listen real close, but yeah. Duke's tried to use the word hyperbole to me yesterday. Uh, that's. <laughs> he was like, are, "Is that? Are, is that hyperbole?" And I said, "Duke's, you really shoehorned that in. When did you learn about the word hyperbole?" And he like looked down at his feet. He like touched his fingers. He was like, "Yesterday." <laughs> I, felt, I felt so fucking bad, dude. Yeah, I was like, "Damn, I'm a dickhead for calling you out." I Vocabulary should, shaming. I should not do that. I, I remember my first Better time know. trying to use like hyperbolize, and it just was, you can't. You got to know who you are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You got to know yourself. You're not the hyperbolize guy. Hyperbolize. No, no. Hyper like the hyperbolic. 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 Even though if that's how you pronounce it. Hyperbolic. Mm -hmm. Like what's a hyperbolic chamber? Uh, no, <laughs> I think a hyperbolic chamber has to do with vacuums. Right. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what the divers go in to prevent the bends? What Goku trained in? Mm-hmm. That's a sick word, man. Hyperbolic. That yeah, is. Maybe hyperbolic. Yeah. Yeah. That's neat. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Me and the homies when we get together, we hyperfrolic. On <laughs> honestly, hyperbolic com and chamber is a sick word. I think that's the two hyperbolic coolest chamber, words together. Yeah, yeah. Chamber is a very cool word. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. yeah, that is cool. Like, someone ever said, "Hey, come into my chamber. Want to want to see my chamber?" I'd have to say yes. Yeah, step into my chamber. 
even though it could lead to a disastrous it would, result. It, it almost always does. You'd almost ha- I just had a curiosity because yeah. it's such a cool word. Like sex basement. Eh, yeah, sex, no, sex, chamber? sex chamber. Sex chamber. No, that guy's I honestly pipe. think yeah. Harry Potter was so successful was, because of how cool the titles are. Chamber I was about to come in. Yeah. Turf opinions we did. Every dance. single chamber, one. Chamber, gauntlet. Goblet. Yes, Gauntlet's Goblet? a big one. Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah. Like Everyone was... Sorcerer everyone is one of them cool. too, right? Sorcerer Stone. Stone? Yeah. Oh, wow. Half-Blood Prince always is Half- like Yeah, that. even that. That goes super hard, Half-Blood Prince. Yeah, titles mm-hmm. are just the key, the key to success with kids' books. <laughs> we had, yeah. You guys did an anus episode where the Half-Blood Prince was your chub. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> when you have Half-Blood a half erection and you can see... <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the ideal... Pr- uh, a little chubby. <laughs> that is a funny one. I like that. <laughs> The half blood prince. Uh, the ideal life would to feel a, it would be to feel a constant state of buzzed from yeah. alcohol mm-hmm. and a constant like half boner. Yes. Yeah. That no, is, I don't like half boner. It's a half boner. What do you mean? No, because it it presents like a soft, a softy, <laughs> and it's just way bigger. Yeah. For the growers, you get to pretend you're a shower. Yeah, you are right. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Do but you like, think mentally like, could you keep yourself at half all, yeah. all day if you wanted no, to? No, but no. you had to really. It's, no. it's like. Tight row walking across sky, no, skyscrapers. You're, okay. you're talking. You're it gets talking, hard quick. It gets soft quick. Yeah, you're talking about a fantasy world that we just don't occupy. Yeah. If I'm okay. at a football stadium <laughs> right. with a, not no. If I'm at a football God, stadium no. with a trough, you better believe I'm looking at something on my phone before I walk in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I would. Yeah. yeah. Trough is Jesus. Yeah. Our yeah. high school football stadium, Wheeling Island. Yeah. Had that. Yeah, troughs. That trough. was terrible. Fenway Park used to have them when I was a kid. Boy, dude. Remember oh, those wait, hold ones? on. Back up. Troughs are great. Uh, you don't no, want one as no a Rudy. Good. You don't want one going in your <laughs> freshman year, your first high school football game. Oh, that's between fair. a freshman and senior cock is enormous. It that's is it, the yeah. You guys fair. spin your cock like a lifeguard whistle before you take a piss. It didn't in have public? the ability. Mm. Oh. But first I love pissing on ice. Help. Pissing oh, on that ice is great. Nice. No, I can understand that actually, Kyle. Because I remember I had talked about this once on the Yak before, but like uh, in hockey, uh, the. At a certain age, you start hockey shot. and wrestling. I feel like are the same, and they're both homoerotic in the locker room. Very much an openly naked culture. I've I've talked about this before, but that first shower that you do with the team is one of the most petrifying moments of a young yeah. man's life. Because the the hockey guys are also roast masters. Roast masters, hundred <laughs> percent roast masters. Yeah, and so it's very scary. But once you break into that world, it's a it's a it's a fan- once you become the world. yeah, it's the best the top roast master. It's got to be the uh, best. hockey locker rooms. Like hockey is a cool culture behind it because uh, they're kind of like underdogs. They have chips on their shoulder, but like they're cool guys. And in their teeth. They're likably yeah, yeah. they're likably stupid. There was a video of like a hockey guy's locker room of guys sliding around on the ground. Did you I talked about one? this too. We did a slip and slide a lot. Yeah, it mm. seems like yeah, you guys just like were comfortable. And everything is infinitely funnier when you're naked. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like like having a riff with your friend, you're both ass naked. That is like ascending to a higher level. You think like a naked dude podcast would be successful? Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, think Ari Shafir does some episodes does he do in some the episodes? nude. Really? Yeah. Adam twenty two does it as well. Dude, yeah. He fucks, mm. right? He's fucking. Oh, you probably grew up with Adam in New Hampshire, probably around the same age. Adam, twenty two. No, he probably that probably wasn't his name at the time. Yeah, I didn't know Mister Twenty Two or no. Mr. He does it. He he. It's just his age. He changes yeah. it every year. He grows older. So we're in Adam Twenty Two now. It's like an Adele album. Yeah. yeah. Next year no. will be Adam Twenty Three, and yes. so on and so forth. No, I've never met this man. Yeah, All one right. of the I, I, one of the funniest things I ever saw in a hockey locker room. This is so sophomoric, but we uh were like fucking around, and everyone was naked. Our parents were just waiting for us in the lobby. And this one kid <laughs> sat on the floor, ass naked, and someone grabbed a shampoo bottle and like positioned the nozzle like right at his dick. And then another kid jumped on the shampoo bottle and it shot like the shampoo and the lid like directly into his penis. It was like one of the funniest. Dear. It was one of the funny. Yeah. It was one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. I don't know why we waste time trying to be clever with words to make people laugh when right. you got to just be a naked dude. <laughs> yeah, Chef hard. Donnie's got that hockey dude in him. He was uh. Shocking his own bear cock with a fly zapper. Yeah, a couple months. That's ago. more wrestling. Just, that's more wrestling. Hockey guys were funny. Wrestlers were just mean, and they thought, they thought pain was funny. Yeah, yeah. masochist. So yeah. We would just get whipped with towels by the seniors, and then like also throwing a handful of soap hurts. What do you mean? L- of like the soap? Like with soap. If you like, whip, the, uh, you like pelt it at someone, it stings. Stings. Because the soap in most uh, like rinks or or arenas or whatever is that like really low quality yeah, and it, it, yeah. if you throw it in the air it's really like a ball it like a it's like a gel huh. so you can if you get a handful of it and you yeah we would it. just do dodgeball and it was so painful we used Did to I see some of this see i think like 
I try and picture like I was in locker rooms and like in the middle and like I think it's because we don't like it is more fun to have something that sticks out. Yeah, like, it's, it's not. Oh as yeah, fun. appendages oh. are hilarious. It's, we don't have it. I think if we also had appendages, it would be more fun, and we'd be doing the same shit. What do you guys do? Holes are What do you do goofy. with the boobs? I was say, if guys had <laughs> boobs. <laughs> nothing. nothing. Not, there's no antics. No, there's no antics. It's like, not as no. it's not as malleable as a penis. Right. It's there's not. So many got two. You can do crazy yeah. stuff. Yeah. You've got two you dicks. Slap them together. If men had boobs, it'd be wild. Yeah, <laughs> you do that's wild true. shit with the boobs that's all the time. True. Well, you could do a lot with the boobs if they were near the legs, because the, the the best part about it is that you have like a, a canyon that you can like move things in and out. I think of. The best part yeah. about it is it's funny looking. It is very funny looking. Yeah, the boobs are just hot. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can't look at them from a humorous perspective. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Titties and laugh yeah. <laughs> become ravenous. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I would do yeah. tricks with the tit. I don't know. You do dick tricks? I think there's a way to activate the duct. Usually when you activate it, like <laughs> anything squirts, it's out of the nipple. But I think okay. I can f find a way to make something squirt out of the mouth. What? Yeah. What? You could I, squeeze a yeah, titty and, open. and you would squirt out the mouth. You're talking about biohacking a boob? No, I think he's ta he's going to fill his mouth up with water in the shower, squeeze his peck. I think that'd be, yes, it would be fun. Oh, okay, okay, fun. okay. I had a buddy I played with that could lactate. That would confuse Rudy, but he, he wouldn't know how you did it. Yeah, if you took the right pills <laughs> uh, and you started pumping your tits every day, you I think you could. Back to that, your yeah. buddy did? No, I, my friend could lactate. My, <laughs> one of my coaches <laughs> could. Something it was just like a like. tiny bit of like very thick... <laughs> Yeah, milk, it wouldn't. And it, it yeah, it milk. it would kind of. It was almost like he was Whatever popping was. a zit. It wouldn't like. Yeah, it was, it was, like, yeah. Oh. It was like cyst goo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was gonna ask if you tried it, but maybe not. Oh, it's not gross. It it I haven't cyst tried it. Cyst goo. Yeah. It's the opposite of a hyperbolic <laughs> chamber. That's the two worst yeah. things. Cyst goo. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. Those are opposites. Hyperbolic yeah. chamber and yeah. cyst goo. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> From a male tit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if, if Harry Potter was like, yeah. It's Harry cyst Potter in the chamber of cyst goo? <laughs> no. no one would like <laughs> that. <laughs> oh. J.K. Rowling is still on welfare yeah. somewhere in England. Yeah. Same same substance in the book, just different title. Yes. <laughs> I was thinking about troughs. The first time I saw pubes was at a trough. <laughs> uh, yeah. At Fenway Park. Really? Yeah, I was peeing. I, I feel like you never forget your first pubes no. in the wild. Mine was down the Jersey Shore. And it was like a relative's wife with her bathing suit at like eye level as a kid. It was like, what? That's what happened. That? Yeah. yeah like like yeah. I, yeah, you're roughly at eye level. You're tr I turned yeah. around and I just saw like this old man cock and like just wild gray and like brown pubes. I could like, if, if we had a cop come in, I could like do a, could I could still. have a sketch. I'd be like, all right, here's, yeah, it was that like traumatic. Have a police sketch artist yeah. come in. That's one of the jobs I want you to apply for. That's a good one. Oh, you know oh, yeah. what I saw on TikTok yesterday? Um, They'll do these TikToks where like a nail tech will be like, here's, she won't show their faces, she, but like, here's the nails of my customer and here's what they do for a living. So it'll be a cute set of nails and it's like, this is a nurse, this is a teacher, this is a whatever's nails. And you're like, oh, that's neat. So this waxer did it and she called them labia strips. She's like, here's my labia strips from the day and here's what they do. And so she holds up the wax strips covered in, pee, and it looks almost like, because the wax is oh, like and they give the skin profession. colored. And so then she she holds up the wax strips covered in pubes and she's like, "This is um, a masseuse. This is a teacher. This is a nurse. Like, and these are their pu like this is what oh their pub rip looks like." I'm trying to think of and who would have. It's like a Rorschach test. <laughs> I, well, it was like jar. I didn't see it coming. I didn't. I don't know what I thought it was gonna be. And she started holding them up. I was like, "Holy shit! It looked like actual." That's a job yeah. for you. Kyle. I would be irate if I like found a Groupon for a waxing and then I went <laughs> and home. Yeah, and, like, you got a pub. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I don't should, know if that's crazy. Like that. Pube doxing. Yeah, you, yeah. Should, you, <laughs> should, Good. you should apply for that job. Is this video, you don't remember what it was? Uh, it's on the <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm curious, curious. what profession. Yeah. I am guessing like an English teacher would have the worst or the um, best. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. The Curliest. worst or the best. Just the most, I think, is what you Most, yeah. Oh, the densest. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what the worst one from the video was. <laughs> Speaking of... It is, yeah, no, writing in English and literature in general, I feel like, is a very Bush-friendly environment. The English teacher would have shards of Diet Coke can in her pubes. Yeah. Lo yeah. <laughs> Around the clock Diet Coke. Yeah. yeah. Pencils. Yeah. They always roll their oh. eyes a little before they take that a... That is a dental hygiene. So these are nails, but, like... What is she? Not a it's doctor not a or president. That's no a Oh, God. Damn, I wish I could find one. Because I don't know if... Are we allowed to show pubes on here? I don't know. Because yes. it was fucking It's not the wild. on the body pubes, is it? <laughs> what is her... No, no. It's, it's but it looks It's like on the strip, right? Yeah, it's yeah you can... Post body. Oh, yeah, wait. I found it. Oh, God. It's a whole thing. 
What do you mean it's a whole thing? My, a whole my it's genre? a whole genre. My clients' labia strips and their occupations. Now I'm just gonna yeah, show you. Yeah, it's quite, we, a, we quite an industry. <laughs> oh, it yeah, very dude. much just recreates the pussy. It recreates it just the recreates. Pussy. Still show that. Yeah, it is. I don't know if we can show. Yes, it. we can. It, hold on. Uh, well, we can. How, how hard it's you're not a pussy. For this. <laughs> it's a lot going on there. Oh, yeah, it's just a. Pussy. Oh no, you I don't want it to like be on the thing. I don't know, but do you see? Yeah. This poor nurse. Can't see. Yeah. This is a nurse. This is... Uh, behavioral Ooh. consultant. Looks like a Lysol after you clean your bathroom. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, student. Like this is the student. It's wild. That's anyway, nice. psychologist. That's, um, that's not very professional. This pubes. person to do this. No, not at all. Do you think they, that the people that go Kinda to her have shitty? To, is there like ten percent off or something? Like, hey, can I show your pubes? Dude, there's a lot of people who are getting in trouble for doing that without permission. Uh, people will go and clean people's houses and show their mess yes. before and after oh. yep. without permission. Yep. It's uh, a yeah, it's, it's like, a whole genre where your business just has to also mm -hmm. be on TikTok. Yeah. This whole world of us having like cameras and video cameras like in our pocket is not great. Like you used to have to have a camcorder unless, unless to you work just here. around. Creep. Right, of course, unless you're in the content <laughs> business. But like, the, there is this like dark side of that where like mm -hmm. everything is now up for being exposed. It isn't. I came across a, a new f trend last night on TikTok where uh, high school students will go and interview like every kid of high school and they're like yeah I no I've it's on my algorithm and I don't like it that yeah, it is, it is who's the hottest girl in the school who's the hottest and they girl? go to talk yeah and they say who's the hottest guy and then they just get go on and on and on and like they all have such high quality cameras and like all the kids know about social media and it goes like mm -hmm. wildly viral we're up for a uh, we're due we're on pace soon for, for, reckoning. A, for a president that will have old internet videos up somewhere Oh, for sure. I think time. when, probably uh, two or three. I think so. Two or three presidents. Internet video. Yeah. Depends though. If we get another, if we I mean, get another. Trudeau, I bet you has some like old YouTube, mm -hmm. some old photos and stuff and videos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could imagine probably like maybe you know like if you go to like a Halloween party or something. Yeah. Or like uh, yeah. Did you see Arabian the, Nights? the president of Finland or whatever? Yeah, she has people keep putting her in TikToks partying on the weekends where like people are clearly like super fucked up. She rocks. And she she's rocks. Yeah, women. she's like, I don't care. Yeah, she's like, it is what it is. I'm a young person having fun on my time off. And, and like the country's like, all right. Yeah. Like, they, yeah. So. Can you imagine if like John F. Kennedy was the president during like 2022? Like there'd be all these videos. Yeah. And, or Clinton. Like there'd be all this shit out Oh, there. Clinton. Oh, that would, oh my God. Ugh. They like. I saw JFK got head from a woman in a nurse outfit once to make him feel better. I was oh. reading about that this morning. Did it work? Yeah, he probably busted in, in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Ailment solved. That's yeah. kind of ironic. Yeah. Say goodbye, busted. Addison's disease. Yeah. Busted in your mouth, but I don't feel any better. <laughs> I feel worse. AJ Applegate did that. Who's that? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> the name sounds familiar. Why, yeah, why do I know yeah, that? It's you can't just do that. Someone just texted me. They said it's hyperbaric, not bollock. Oh, oh hyperbaric. It's a lot more sense. Eric. Oh. Eric, right. yeah. Yeah, nice transition out of that one. Yeah. Okay. Um, should we spin the wheel? Yeah. Spin, spin, that, spin that motherfucker. So oh, we don't have TJ here. TJ's at Rutgers. Yeah, are you guys all going tonight or no? No, no. no. no I'm not going tonight. I have to go to Pittsburgh tomorrow with oh, Adam Verone. Yeah. That's right. That dude's a ledge. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I think we're, yeah, let's uh, click to spin. Oh, wow. This is a weird, we usually go full screen. This might, no, we're good. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say this was going to uh, nullify the spin, but that was going to land on something bad. <laughs> My mic keeps breaking. And it smells of patchouli. Um, What else, boys? The Friday. It's Friday. Saw the Draymond punch. Oh, yeah, he really hit a guy. He slapped yeah. Him. He he got pushed, but he was all up in the other guy's face basketball before game. that. Yeah. I mean, he got pushed in like a fighting manner. It was it was clearly to initiate something. But I think he was got pushed we because he was too. Yeah, in I don't know space. what he was doing beforehand. Yeah, I think he was too. But in his defense, also he caught the guy after he. Oh, did he? Kind of yeah. caught him. Kind of let him down easy. You slept Gentlemen. him and then let him down easily, which is almost more emasculating. It is, yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cradle the man you just punched. Yeah. You knock someone out and then just cradle their little limpless body to the book. He comes over to him. See, he kind of start gets right in his face, okay. like right in his neck. That, that push is you want to fight. But he put his nut, he like nuzzled right, right all in his, his face neck. out of nowhere, though. It's weird. The guy just mind his own business. I think, right? Yeah. I highly doubt that. I think that there was a lot of words before this, probably. Probably. <laughs> Look, see, he kind of catches nice him punch. a little. 
I saw like a funny uh, evolution of it on Twitter where like a girl quote tweeted the video and this guy quote tweeted that and goes, oh man, it's over for Jordan Poole. The bad bitch has found the video. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, damn, that's funny. <laughs> that's a tough go for Jordan Poole. Really tough go. Yeah, it is. Um, Clemmer, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, it's a lot of Mets stuff. Um, I'm going to the streams, I think Friday and Saturday, and uh, and maybe even, I don't know what's going on Sunday even, because the Mets, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all, each game is at night. So... I yeah, might be, yeah. Might be you do anything it. superstitious for games or not really? No, I don't. I don't really believe I have the power to influence a baseball game mm-hmm. um, by like doing things strange. I don't think I'm that that powerful. So no, not really. Uh, I'm pretty excited though. Mets haven't been in the playoffs in six years. Like, Phillies last... are going right now. Phillies are on right now, right? Have much more hope. <laughs> you have more hope. Team. Oh, I, I have hope in the Mets. But look at Kate talking so hey, wow. Yeah. Just saying. Talk your shit. Yeah, seam head. Red October, guys. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. And Rudy, you are you a? Everyone has a nice time. You're a Rockies <laughs> fan. Oh yeah, bro. D- die, hard, all. die hard Rockies fan. It had to change the name of the Rockies mascot, right? Yeah. To um. What did they change? It was Ding uh, Rock. D- d- Dinger. Yeah, but yeah, like, somebody was yelling it, and they thought it was the N word. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I know they changed it though. Yeah. Did they not right. change it? I don't know. The Nuggets mascot is the highest paid mascot in sports. Really? I would have thought it, it was saw high. that like 700 grand a year. Is he I mean, that good? What do gets, they do that's gets, so special? He gets nutty. Like okay. he gets really He doesn't good. get it. He doesn't do it like Sir Purr does it. Who's Sir Purr, who's that? He's the Carolina Panthers mascot. <laughs> He's <laughs> making more than Red Panda. That's ridiculous. Yeah. But I thought the He's, highest paid would be Benny the Bull. I thought he was up there. He was up there. Gritty is Gritty up there. I don't think he was on the ranking. If How? any if any mascot deserves to get paid a ton, it's the BYU mascot. Why? He does the push-ups? Insane stunts. Oh. Yeah. The push-ups are very impressive. <laughs> uh, was it the Nuggets mascot that fainted as he was getting dropped from the ceiling? Could have been. He <sighs> does a lot of stunts. We play that video. I think he they, wrecks himself a lot. It's hilarious. He was getting he was getting let down from the ceiling like by a Really? Like some sort of pulley system. He was just fainting. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was him. I think I saw that. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah like halfway is. down, he passed out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> didn't, you, didn't you resuscitate a mascot? Yeah, I saved a mascot's life. Bucky. Bucky, the beaver for um, the, uh, the Nailers. The Nailers had two mascots. They had Spike and Bucky. Bucky was a beaver, and uh, there was this walk relay for life for cancer. Bucky uh, fell, heat stroke, uh, gave him my water. Opened up his mouth, poured my water in. Wow. Really? So you didn't take the mask off? Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So you took a, the mask off, and then you gave him yeah. the water. Yep. Okay. Saved a mascot's life. That's like a from a superhero didn't movie. Know that. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty impressive, Jesus. isn't it? Yeah. I had a family friend growing up who was the Notre Dame. <laughs> there he goes. Uh, <laughs> he's just a. He's just limp. <laughs> let him get, <laughs> let him down. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, can t- you can tell. <laughs> oh no. <Everybody. laughs> That is grim. Oh, man. Very grim. I worked for a mascot. Look, they're just dancing around. <laughs> <laughs> rough fall. Oh, no. What's his name? Oh. Rocky, I think. That has to be every Colorado mascot. Yeah. We're not very creative in terms of like. Well, what is he? Was he a cheetah? Yeah, I guess so. I was probably a uh, puma or a cougar or mountain lion because we have those in Colorado. Okay. I assume that's what he is. Well, the Rockies is what? A stegosaurus? Yeah, it's a stegosaurus, which also like, I think we're native to Colorado prior to the that big rock hitting them. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. I worked for a mascot. What? Yeah, for three years. You were like an mascot executive assistant. Yeah. yeah, I was like, so I worked. <laughs> <laughs> you, wait, wait, wait! Did you have to wear a eventually I did. an outfit too? Eventually you I a did. stunt double? No. So what happened was, uh, I worked for a minor league baseball team, the National Pride, and they had a real mascot, but then they had like an alternative mascot named Monkey Boy, the world famous Monkey Boy. <laughs> and Monkey Boy took off; like he became very popular. He would like cause antics in the field. He slapped an umpire on the ass. Can we see do- this? Guy? I need to see oh, the world. Yeah. And you oh, were so you, you were up- you were the alternative mascot or the intern to the alternative mascot. I was his. He also ran the ticket office, and I was his intern. And then he ended up taking no, to the, the mascot or the Monkey alternative Boy. <laughs> Monkey Boy. <laughs> you were the. Oh yeah, he well, was the intern. You were the intern to the, to the alternative, alternative mascot, mascot of the right. Nashua. Correct. But I also, the, I also did That t- might be the lowest level no, no. job on earth. On earth. <laughs> it was low, it was low level. On earth, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was the also, 
also his intern when he ran the ticket booth too. So I had two in, I had two jobs going at once. That changes nothing. <laughs> and then and then he went on the road. He took his act on the road and to different minor league baseball parks. Monkey boy. And people would pay him like a thousand dollars. He'd show up and do his antics. And I would go on the road with him. And I would kind of make sure he had water. Make sure the sound was right. I was kind of like. The business the alternative for- mascot, nonetheless, <laughs> of, correct of the what, the single A or the, no, no, the college league, Atlantic League National Pride. So not now, even an A team. No. What now is below entry level, because I don't know what you could classify this job as. I need this on my resume. You're, you're overqualified yeah. for being b- born. Now, poor, yeah. poor Monkey Boy is uh, on the third year of us doing we that. We can't find Monkey Boy. Yeah. What was the name of this? Uh, Google world famous Monkey Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I think, and uh, he, <laughs> I think this might be a Fight Club thing. I think you yeah, were Monkey Boy. He, uh, he might have been. Oh, I, I became Monkey. There is. Oh, see the mask there? Oh, my oh my God! He was a hideous creature. You can. Oh see no! Oh yeah, yeah. no! See? Oh God! That was him. <laughs> dude, this looks like a scene from Insidious. That was him. Yeah. Oh, dude, you were his. <laughs> you were his intern. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and then I. Be- <laughs> you reported to him. Yeah. Like he made, he gave you demands in yeah. that outfit. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, no, he would at you and. St- <laughs> no, no, he was a great guy, and uh, he blew he blew his <laughs> knee out on the third year. So then I had to become Monkey Boy because we had all these appointments oh, we already wow. made. You went in that? Wait, you, yeah. you, so you were world. Well, I wasn't in that exact suit. It was, it was <laughs> they swore him in like LBJ. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was not in that exact suit because uh, the Monkey Boy there, Chris, he's only five foot three. <laughs> <laughs> so we had. A- we had to get a whole new suit, <laughs> and it was a black. It wasn't. It wasn't even a monkey suit. It was a black brown bear suit. What I had to have this whole new suit. But at what point in your like career was this? I was what? 22. So you How were a graduate. Chris, the monkey boy. I. This was my first. This is like basically the summer after I graduated college. Okay. Yeah. How did you apply? Well, I was already. I. Well, I did the internship. I worked with this guy for like five years. <laughs> five years of my cr- life. How old was Chris? Term. term. Uh, about eight years older than me. So he was 28. When that picture, you did that for five years? When that picture was taken, he had a wife and kid. Wait, wait. Like 17 to 22 or 22 to 20? Like eight, eight, seven. 18 to 22. Okay, okay. Yeah, my college year. Your college year. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. So yeah, during the summer, I would go on the road with Monkey Boy. And then I said he got hurt, and then I had to become Monkey Boy. I was horrible at it because I was so tall. And um, you what know, made you, him good. Yeah, what, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I always give this example. Yeah, like you know how like Paul McCartney would play a guitar note, and then like you'll play a guitar note. It just sounds better when McCartney does it. It was just better when he was Monkey. But what did he? Do? What were his antics? Yeah. yeah, he would run around the field, cause mischief. He would like slap. <laughs> <laughs> he would wave his arms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he'd slap an umpire on the rump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> oh, here Uh-oh. we go. <laughs> oh, oh my god. No. All right, oh yeah. All right. All right, the training's paid off. <laughs> you sell yourself short. That was mischievous. Uh, that was, that that was, 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 I was scared. Yeah, that was uh, impish. Those were antics. Yeah. yeah, that scared the shit out of me. That my life flashed before my eyes right there. Was, is there footage of Monkey Boy? Oh, there is. So there is, but there's it's sad footage. So he was um, <laughs> oh, no. This was after I mean, the knee injury and after I worked with him. He would go to Nashville and do games once in a while. And he was doing a game, and someone from the fan ran down and tackled him hard. Like, he didn't even see it coming. Right. Uh, and uh, that was the last time I think he was Monkey Boy. Cause he, but, uh, but, but anyway, it went kind of viral. And because like, it was like 2009, 2010, so I people had find this. phones. Uh, and uh, it was. Oh my God, is that him? That's Monkey Boy. <laughs> Oh He's like, he, remember, oh, no. remember, that's your boss. He, he was dressed. <laughs> oh, oh, that, is that's that your boss? Look at the mischief. Look at the mischief, man. You had to report. <laughs> he just did the haka. He's dressed as an umpire. Look at that. He's tripping. <laughs> oh my god. It's mischief. He's doing uh, mischief. You're right. He's you're the alternate right. mascot. Yeah. He's yeah. So what's okay? He was more popular than the real mascot. Mar- 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 so like, what, what did the real mascot think of Monkey Boy? Uh well, the real mascot was usually Rip a college the kid. Off. Rip the pants off. I would say really respected him. Oh, the pants are coming off. How old is this guy? Uh, he was like eight years older than me. So like thirty-one. Thirty. The end. He was in his. He was like thirty and he had a wife and a kid. He's moving like a rodeo. Was this his full-time him. job? Uh, it was. It was and then it wasn't. <laughs> okay. Okay. It was, like so when we worked for the team, he obviously did tickets and did this. But then when he, uh, when we went on the road, it was not his full-time job. 
Oh. Is this an away game? My this God. is a home game. Oh! oh! There it is. Oh, this dude. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, yeah. He's a really nice guy. Like, it was yeah, so fuck shitty. that. Yeah, Why did not. that kid do that? Did he get it in trouble? Uh, I don't know if they caught him right now. Yeah, I'd be you can see he's just like, what the fuck? God, he was that's having, terrible. He was doing his thing in his comfort zone. And then, oh, people, that makes oh. me so sad. Not good. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't want to see I it hate again. this guy. This guy sucks. Wait, so, f- stop on the kid who did it. Let's find this fucker. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, oh my God. Does his ass come out mid-tackle? Not even, yeah, he doesn't even know how to wear pants, this guy. Not good. That's so mean. That is uh, so mean. I, f- <laughs> I mean. That is so mean. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> you got to hold him. Right? Right, yeah. It is mean, but. Now that we're out of the way. Now that we've been admitted it's mean. Yeah, now that we got that kid. I hate that kid. That guy sucks. That kid's a dickhead, a monster, but. Can we play it back one more time? One more time. No. No. Oh. You know that Maybe I'm oh. seeing my friend get hurt. This is awful. Where were you at this point? I was. Did not... you see this live? No, 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 no. This uh, was like years. This, what I... did you do when you got the news? Uh, I you felt bad for him. him t- I was like, oh, that sucks, man. Like some some asshole. Well, do, you, do you still have his number? So you didn't slide for I him? I do. I, I well, I mean, I I te- no. so he he lives in Florida now, and so I I texted him a couple weeks ago about the uh, hurricane and stuff. I was concerned for him. Oh, you're still close. I, we t- t- once in a while we talk. I'm, uh, I'm on his side. I'm yeah, we're a really good guy. guy. We're really good guy. Needs Boy. anything, we'll tell Big. Yeah, that. yeah. yeah that's yeah. Right. him that's getting tackled was not funny. The idea of like the kid thinking a big break could come out of tackling yeah. Monkey Boy. Wait, it did go viral. So maybe, maybe the kid was onto something. But we know we shouldn't tackle straight. Uh, the comments bad. anti. Uh, they better be on our side there. Oh yeah, you're they're definitely next monkey boy. There 100 percent was like a. It's like D- I'm in college again. There was a D3 oh, coach shit. that saw that tape. Was like, I get the you appeal. Find this kid. Yeah. That was a perfect form tackle. We're get against a five three monkey oh. boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there definitely yeah. was a D3 coach that saw that tape and want, and tried to give that kid a partial scholarship. Oh my God, Clemmer, what a story, man. You have few wow. surprises. That the long life, that the long blew, life, and a lot of weird shit happened. Yes, that blew me away. Wise words. I think we ended on that, boys. Yeah, I'm down. That was yeah. A high bo- yeah, that I'm was good. A, yeah. Did you get an apology text? No, yeah, just a bunch of people text me. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I've had people reaching out to me. I also think that we should add re- uh, mascot to one of your potential jobs. Also, we should hire a monkey boy, right? Yeah. Right. I think yes. So. Yes. Yeah. Right. Something. Do something for him. Or source the outfit. Yeah, and then try to figure out a way to gain the the honor of wearing it. You think he still has the costume in a in a chamber? I believe he still has the mask. I don't, and I think he might have the hands or or the feet, one of the two. Because I asked him about it a while. Oh uh, yeah, how could you tell him apart? Um, but I don't know. I I know he still has the mask. Is like the mask is so frightening looking. So I think I know he still has that. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if he still has his monkey suit and the brown black brown black bear suit that I wore is gone. Okay. Harry Potter and the Death of Monkey Boy. God damn. <laughs> God damn. Wow. Thank you. R.I.P. Monkey, Monkey Boy. Boy. Uh, yeah. He had a good run. The world famous. The I world mean, famous. enough. A fam- he had an assistant. Right. He did. <laughs> he did. An inter- was More it, than it was a paid position? Uh, yes, it was. It was paid. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not not a ton, but a little bit. It was during the summer in college, it worked out. And I would sell Monkey Boy appearances as well during the college year. So I'd call up my league baseball team, see if they want a Monkey Boy to come by. And, it and how you ever you do- sell it? I would say, hey, you, do you guys have any like spots open in your promotional schedule? Uh, I would send, I would mail. This is how long ago it was. I would mail a CD-ROM to the team, be like, hey, check it out. Monkey Boy is funny. He's kind of like. Put a sizzle for Monkey Boy. We had a sizzle. Would we Monkey find Boy. that. Oh my god, we need yeah, that. Yeah, CD-ROM. Oh my god, it's twenty years old. I don't have. Would it sell him to other minor league teams. Yeah, that's what we would do. He, he wasn't like a Nashua place. Pride guy. He, he was at first, and then he went and did it on Sid. and went and branched out. He became a mercenary. Yeah. That's why I had to become Monkey Boy because we already had those dates like signed, sealed, and delivered. People had already put deposits down, and we couldn't back out. So I did it, and I was horrible at it. And that ended Monkey Boy. Monkey Boy was never... You were the one wanted Monkey Boy ended? I killed the brand. I killed the brand it's before over. I was 23. I think Becoming Monkey Boy is a movie. Becoming Monkey yes. Boy is a beautiful documentary. We're, we should make it. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I did a one-man show about it. All right, let's... What? Wait, what? Yeah. what? Clemmer, no. what? No. Three-hour yak. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. No, I just I did a one-man show in New Hampshire about being... About Monkey Boy? Boy? About how I failed. Like, what, what it's like to fail at something when you're that young. Would, Please like, tell us about it. Well, I I would just when I when I failed as Monkey Boy, I would I'd go every night and I would perform, and people people didn't even hate me or like me. It was just like crickets. And I had seen Monkey That's Boy worse, so Ugh. much worse. And I had seen Monkey Boy so many times that I knew how good the act could be, and I knew like I was fucking up. And no matter, it's a physical thing. No matter how hard I tried, I could never get it. And I could see like my buddy's dream because he was going with me on the road, and he became kind of like my manager. 
And I could see his, like, the dream, like, in his eye, like, twinkling every oh, time no. I did it. And I would just go to the bar, and I would just cry every night. I would just, like, weep. Because, like, this guy is, like, has a family, and I'm like, it was awful. Chris. Yeah, it was Holy awful. Shit. One man show sounds <laughs> moving. Yeah. So I did one man show uh, like uh, a couple years ago about it because I was like, oh, you know, now it's kind of. Uh, oh, yeah. the team doesn't exist anymore. No, 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 independent. Oh, going to Probably your fault. No, the story I, <laughs> of a <laughs> monkey wow. taken down. Oh, they're the pits. Oh, they moved to Pittsfield, the Colonials now. Yeah, the only Greek teams bounce around. Oh, the team in Long Island is. You would weep. Oh, I would cry. Yeah, I. I, I would cry. I would ball. I'd get drunk and I would cry. Over Monkey Boy? Yeah, well, it's this guy, this is what this guy wanted to do, and I just put so much pressure on myself. After we got tackled, was it the game over, or did he Oh, no, that out? was way after the game was over. He oh, got tackled. He... he was just doing a quick little appearance in Nashua. Like, so that was like his, like, return tour or something? Yeah, he just did it for fun. Like, uh, they asked him to come down. He went and did, like, a, he'd do, like, a spot appearance here or there, like, once a year ago. But this, this was, like, something he wanted to do for his job. And, like, it was, like, I killed it. Nick, Let's meet after the act. We're gonna we're gonna do a video on this. This is the perfect person for that idea we had. Yeah, we're gonna do a video on this. <laughs> yes, we're gonna, we're gonna. Yeah, I'm fascinated by this. Yes. Saving monkey boy. Good way. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to. The, the, we will be doing something. If you this. could find an event and bring him back for like yeah. a final curtain call of yeah, monkey the boy. curtain call he deserves. Yes, yeah. and on yes. a high note. Yes. He was a great mascot. He really was. Like he was really fun to watch. It's goofy and funny. He didn't we should get it. Monkey Boy to sell out the beacon in 2023. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. But That's what also, this movie's going to do. What we're going to do is help Clemmer out as well. We're going to hot swap mid act. <laughs> Monkey Boy's going to get him warmed up. And people won't know. They'll, you'll get know. the same uproar. You'll right. get the uproar. Yes. yes. Oh my God. I want to yes. redeem both. It would be, be yeah. all snow, though, I imagine. People, no. I was a horrible mm. Monkey Boy. No, I don't. No, that's no. what it's all about. We're, we are all, all Monkey about Boy. Their yeah. We yeah. are Everybody has all it. Monkey in the Boy. Tag. We're going to make, yeah. Everybody has all it. Monkey Boy. Yep. And when you moved out here and you did it, you moved with conviction. I can see it in you. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, the nice thing is when you're, when you're my age. Oh, Monkey, I'm looking at some clips. I don't think he's 5'3. He's with this. Is that me as Monkey Boy? Six year old boy, and he's a little bit taller. But, um. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chris, Chris is really short. He's like 5'3, five, 5'4, five, for real. It was a huge I difference. Kyle's I was going to say, I don't, I don't think he might be shorter. Four, oh, you're saying he's shorter. Yeah, yeah. He, he might be 4'2. He's really <laughs> short. Like, it was, it was like, and then I think that was part of the appeal, too, was that he's, yeah, he's like a little, yeah, like, this little person running around. It was fun. When it's like a, a guy that's 6'2 doing it, it's like, that's kind of weird and lame. True. Yeah. True. It didn't work. Yeah, the novelty wore off. It real, very quickly, yes. Yeah, monkey monkey Boy getting tall is like Jonah Hill getting skinny. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. No one wants to, to the see audience. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So we are going to, we're going to have this end on a correct note. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got to oh, figure I, out a... I hate the way this ended. Me too. Yeah, uh, yeah let's spin the wheel for the uh, Yak Parlay. Um Available at the Barstool Sports Book. I want to spend most of my next year working on this. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm serious about this. Yes. I think this is just the story we needed. Yeah. Come on, man, don't do it. Not oh, the Broncos. God. Thank God. This better not be the over. All right, under over. Uh, yeah, yeah, we had to figure out a way to rectify or, or fix your height. Because right now in that outfit, you probably look like Slender Man. No, we just have to yes. have it as a part of the show. Maybe one of us runs out with like a comically large needle, gives it Monkey Boy a growth serum. <laughs> yeah, or we have to play with, with uh, you know, angles. Yeah, like they yeah, did. When I'm wearing this suit, you can't tell us. All right, yeah. the under in the Saints Panthers. I like that. I don't know what it is, but to create some sort of optical illusion. Mm-hmm. Wow, we have a lot saved. The monkey boy. The three guy. games, right? Or just two? Close. Three. Three games. Close. Do you think if he found out, like, you're talking about and then kind of revive, like, do you think he'd be pumped to be like, oh, he would have no problem. Would yeah. he be okay with that? Yeah. He'd be okay. Let's call, reach out to him. Mm-hmm. We're going to. I just want to make sure he's okay with the with this, uh, the hurricane stuff. But other than that, he would. Right. If it wasn't for that, I would. That could add to the story. Like, that right. happened. Right. And then all of a sudden, saving Actually, grace. Actually, I kind of want to fly down there first. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and make sure we don't yeah. want to do anything he's not comfortable with. Right. See if he's on right. board for whatever, and then yeah. we'll proceed. This will be the first yeah. Yak documentary, and we will go and we will produce. I want this to be a real thing. So I'm on board. I, I, I think he'd be on board. I think he'd be on board. Yeah, full video. Like full full thing, feel yeah. good, hour long. I think I'm dead I, I, serious I'm, about I'm, this. I'm this sure he'd be on board. very much into yes. yeah. mm-hmm. He has all this stuff. Like He has the mask. I think he has some other like uh, memorabilia as well that could be fun. Fantastic. Did he have a favorite song he would dance to? Yes, you know, he come out to. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, hey, oh, hey, oh. That song. Boom, boom, yeah. boom. Classic. And sometime also, uh, what is this song by ACDC? There's a twinkle in um, Thunderstruck, Money no, Talks. No, Betty. Uh, 
Uh, Betty. Oh, uh, Mike Betty. Whole lot of oh, oh, Betty. 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 You also come out to that. Betty. Betty. Rear is pissed, right? He's punching his computer. <laughs> yeah. That's not, that's not, I don't think it's ACDC. Oh, I'm sorry. You're probably yeah, I think right. they it's covered Ram, it. No, though. I think it's a band called Ram Jam. Ram Jam. For my entire uh, life, I thought it was ACDC until very recently. definitely recent covered it. No, they haven't. Uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> Let's, I don't know. Ten and a half. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but uh, Boom 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 <laughs> is the song. That was the theme song. Okay. This is good. This is great. So the second pick was uh, the Eagles. Eagles. The under and the Eagles under Commanders the, game. Okay. So we have the Saints Panthers so far. Saints Panthers under, Eagles Commanders under, and this is the last game. I like okay. these uh, so far. Unders are good right now. Everyone really hated that game last night, huh? Oh, it's it awful. Bad. So bad. Um, okay. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, that might hurt things. Hmm. Actually, let's take the under and over in that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you bet the middle? <laughs> exact score. Exact score. Can. That's what SAS does. Is it working? My, my bad, guys. That was a yet. false spin. We got to go again. That's fine. That's okay. Run yeah. it again, maybe. Come on. Okay. Uh, give me the under in that. Yeah, under. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Is this Rookie quarterback? Why is the Broncos on there? Niners Broncos. That's a. That shit don't happen, no? That shit did don't happen. Russ. No, it was uh, thoughts. Everybody on Russell Wilson. No, not good. I've, not good. I've, I don't like seeing. Oh, as a, uh, personally, just uh, as a dude, it seems annoying. I. He's get. I, I. I like make fun of him. There's a difference between making fun of and just like talking shit. Mm -hmm. Denver played Indy. Is this wheel correct? Uh, give me one second. Because 49ers was a week before. I yeah. think we got. I think we have the wrong games here. That's okay. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> mulligan. We'll take. <laughs> a mulligan. Uh, we'll take a Let's mulligan. Stick with it. I mean, come on, guys. I don't do this. I know. I know. It's not <laughs> you. It's not you. No, I was very confused. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, Russell. Um, yeah, yeah. You're the the fan. I am a Broncos fan. It, it's. Uh, it's becoming harder and harder to. Right. I get that. I love the way that he did sneak in the. Broncos country, let's ride. Ugh, he squeezed game. it in. That's f that's not bad. He used to say go Hawks. It's fine, but like the problem is that they suck. Like I'm okay yeah, with his can't antics. Can't be an NFL quarterback that sucks. Yeah, and and also to do it's just there's just too much ammo. And the, the NFL right now is I think running a massive troll campaign where they continuously put us in prime time. And now next week too. Yeah, oh, Monday night. No way. Yeah. Oh my God, dude, how is that possible? I know. I think they bank on being better. That coach is getting most of the heat, though. The Hackett, Hackett guy. yeah. He, he's getting. He seems like he's getting more heat than Russell Wilson is. Well, I think it's like the the O line is not getting Wilson's cadences, and that's not on Wilson. He's a vet. He's it's like they don't know each other. That's my thing. I know. I know something's up. Something's a mess. Good. He, there's something there with Russ. I I I, I f Hackett. Russ likes hero ball. Though. I want to give the I wanted to give them time, but we're running we're up against field. it now, where it's like we might just have to get rid of Hackett. Yeah, you have to. Is quarterback like one of the only jobs you could be like the eleventh best person in the world? And people yes, say you yeah, suck. Yes, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's right. my, salary aside, it's like probably the worst job you could have. Yeah, because yeah. you're exceptional. Or feedback. Yeah, you're an exceptional yeah. talent, and unless you're the top five. People think you're terrible. Yes. Or there's that weird space that like Geno Smith is in right now, where they're expecting him to be pure ass. People wanted Drew Locke, and now he's like, he's a, yeah, yeah but player, that will probably the week last week. that will end yeah, soon. Yeah. Uh, will end soon, but it, he's done enough to where it's like, uh, yeah. But if he like, fucks up next game, everyone's out. That's fine though. That was expected. Like this is this little run. It's kind of like cool. Russ and the other the basketball player Russ who's historically great had a terrible season and then he just got made fun of all year. Or like the rapper singer Russ. All three. I think that's the issue. <laughs> They're in the it's, Russ. It's, so maybe if he changes yeah. his name. Yeah. To like Nigel. That's fine. Thornberry no. dude. Nigel Russell. Nigel Wilson. Nigel Wilson's a real person. He was the first pick by the Marlins in the expansion draft. <laughs> I knew, I knew. I, I, it always circles monkey back. Monkey boy! <laughs> <laughs> this documentary is going to be fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, TJ. Oh, okay, there we go. Do we uh, just start from the beginning fresh? or like The first one was legit, and then I had to refresh because there was a fucking fuck up. So Whoa. do we want to just start from the beginning, or do we want to no, keep the no. first one? Let's, I liked the first one. All right, we'll so keep the first one, then we got to do two and three. Sure. Yeah, the first one. Let's, uh, that was do... the Panthers one, right? Yeah. Saints-Panthers. Saints-Panthers under. All right. 
Let's uh, spin this wheel twice, and then let's spin the other wheel twice. That's so, what I wanted to yeah. do, but I, I just was trying to not fuck the rules up. Texans, Jacks, <laughs> Titans, Commanders. It's going to be an awful game. Yep. <laughs> good one. Is there any good teams in the NFL this year besides the Chiefs and Bills? No, it seems like the <laughs> NFL is not. The NFC especially is. I, I re- watching football this year, I'm having to question if I like football. 100%. That, last that was last night right? was a real test. These, no. these Thursday night games. Who was game? that? Who is that? Who would just take off? Commanders? Commanders and Titans. And Titans. Titans. All right, here we go. Yeah, like these primetime games, at least red zone, I can like, you know, you're seeing touchdowns, but these Mondays and these uh, Sunday nights, there you go. Thursday's been bad. Yeah, red zone only works because it's, uh, you collect it. It's like uh, the uh, in the big short when they would bring all the bad bonds together to form like a kind of good one. Yeah. Seafood stew. Yeah. yeah. It's like a seafood stew mm-hmm. of the NFL. If you watch a single game, it makes you want to vomit. You have to collect them all and then build them into something that appears to be pleasing. Yeah. Red Zone does that. Red Zone, I think, has ruined football for me. Mm-hmm. It's a seafood stew. I can't name one defensive player in the NFL right now. Really? I just see touchdowns, and it rocks. <laughs> it does rock, dude. Yeah. Pretty great. Yeah. Red Zone. It's like, oh, and uh, touchdowns in it made rock. Baja Blast like a readily available yeah. Mountain Dew. It ruined all Mountain Dew. For That's me. right. Wow, Everyone very was like, true. That needs, if they sold Baja Blast at stores, like it would be amazing. Well, yeah. same thing. Didn't I didn't think, care when they did. I hated all Mountain Dew from then on. Didn't they come out with a version of uh, all Marshmallow Lucky Charms? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Doesn't, Doesn't do work. it. Yeah, it's yeah. all berries. Peaks too much. Mm-hmm. No, I bought a bag. And it's exactly what you're saying. Like you have a handful. This is Bro, awesome. And you're like, second yeah. half, you're like, oh, I, I kind of do miss those nasty you little oat things. Yeah. You, you need yeah. the oats. Yeah. Well, the, the oats, oats are any balls. It's all about the chase. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you need a palate cleanser. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's what the sawdust in Lucky Charms does. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Keeps you humble. <laughs> yeah. Want to get these uh, over-unders? Let's do it. Yeah. Might as well. So this is for the Titans commanders? Yes, sir. All right. Let's spin that shit. So the Yak Parlay, I'll be betting it. I'll be in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania watching. If anybody wants to come through to uh, Washington, yeah. PA, the uh, Penn Casino in Washpaw. Yeah. Uh, Roan will be there. He'll, he'll be uh, friendly. He'll give you his phone number. Yeah. Yes. He always does. Always he gives does. out his number. Let's get a, a TGA casino. appreciation post. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a tech guy, Andrew, TGA. filling in it's very nicely for yeah. TJ. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tough. Shout out to Chico to Technico. All right. Let's just spin this wheel. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Humble. <laughs> Somebody needs it a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Two. All right. Three under. unders. Wow. All right. No, no. Commanders. Commanders. Titans we wasn't over. Yeah, all right. So two unders. So we got the Saints. Panthers. Under. The Commanders. Titans. Under over. The, the Steelers. Bills. Under. Hell yeah. Under the Perfect. All right. Everybody have a good weekend. Thanks to Rudy and Clemmer for filling in. Appreciate having uh, me. Shout out to TG, uh, TGA for filling in. Yep. Uh, so. That's the yak. So, uh, <laughs> Wait, get, him, get him some more screen time. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. Uh, that's yak. Yep. God Later. bless. <laughs>